When you're collaborating with others on your data, you want to be able to communicate back and forth, and sometimes the best way is to put comments on specific cells within a spreadsheet. Now, you can do notes, which I showed you previously, but those are just kind of passive and they're there. They don't draw attention to themselves and not attributed to anybody, and they're really not as helpful as an actual comment. Let me show you how this is going to work. I'm going to highlight two errors in this spreadsheet. One is I have the month June twice. Now, to insert a comment, I can do a few different things. I can come up here to insert, or I can use the keyboard shortcut, which can be a little different on Macintosh, which is what I'm using, and Windows computers. Or you can also right click on it or option click on it and come down to insert comment. That's what I'm going to do right now. And then you see that it brings up who's making the comment, and this is my personal account. And then it's going to say, why is this repeated? And then I can do Command or Control Enter or to hit the comment. And so that's that rephrase. And so that's now there. Now let's go to the other account to see what it looks like in the discussion. And here this highlights that there's a comment there. So it's drawing attention to itself in the way that a note didn't. And it lets me know who's asking the question. And I can then click on this and say, because June was so good, we wanted it twice. And I can click on reply. And now we're both in this thread. And then I can come down here. Oh, look, it brings up my whole Google Plus profile. And if you want to bring in somebody else, you could click on this. You could say, for instance, let's put data at sample.com. I don't think that's a real email address. What do you think? And this is a way of bringing in additional people to the conversation, inviting them and highlighting the comment for them. Now, I'm not actually going to send this because that's not a real email address. I'm going to hit cancel to discard the comment. But the comment is there and you can ask for information, you can propose a resolution. And when you finally come around to it, you can go like this, you can say, well, let's fix it. Let's do July. And then we've now resolved it. So we can hit resolve. And it hides the discussion, it archives it. And so that is now done, I can go to the other account to see what's happened. And you can see that the comment notification is gone, the comment is gone. And it's fixed. And so this is a really good way of drawing attention to things that need repairing, and then making the action. I'll just highlight that we have one other right here. And I'll insert another comment. This should not be here. It's not odd. Anyhow, that's something you can do uh, for future reference as a way of communicating with others. And it makes organizing the data and getting ready for your analysis a lot easier within Google Sheets.